Hey, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today I want to talk to you about prime factorization. Now, any composite number can be uniquely factored into prime numbers. So, what does that mean? That means you can take any single composite number and find one way to write it as a product of prime numbers. So, let's try it and see what happens. Let's take the number 84. Now, when you're doing prime factorization, it doesn't matter if you know the largest factor or anything. Just find a couple of factors and get started, and it gets easier every step. So, 84. Well, I know 84 is an even number, so I know 2 will go into it. So, you do prime factorization with this tree, and I know 2 is a factor of it. And 2 goes into 84, divides it in half, so that gives us 42. 2 is a prime number, so I'm done on that side. 42, let's see, I know 6 times 7 is 42. 7 is a prime number, so I'm done there. And 6, I know that's 2 times 3. So when I have prime numbers at the end of my tree branches here, they're all prime, those numbers, then I know I'm done. And the correct way to write it is from the smallest prime number to the largest prime number and to use exponents. So 84 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. But the correct way to write that in this case would be 2 squared times 3 times 7. Now, doing prime factorizations are important for finding the greatest common factor or least common multiple of two numbers. Now, this idea that any composite number can be factored uniquely into prime numbers might sound simple, but it's actually very important. That is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. And that's prime factorization. We have some more examples, so take a look at those. Thanks for learning with me today. If you want more information on any of the topics, click on any of the links below. And if you liked our videos, please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. If you have a specific request, send it to requests at mahalo.com. And I'll see you next time.